In prior videos, we completed the payroll register, which is the primary tool used to compute payroll amounts. The payroll register contains all the payroll information for a payroll period and is a tool used by accountants to ensure payroll accuracy. In this video, we'll look at the employee's earnings records, which forms the link between the accounting and the human resource departments and we'll compare it to the payroll register. In a separate video, we'll use the payroll register to record the payroll journal entries. The employee earnings record is the master document accounts used to track employees' marital status, mandatory, voluntary, and mandated deductions and year-to-date earnings. The information contained within each row of the payroll register is transferred to the employee's earnings records. Here, here's one example of what the employee earnings record might look like for a company. Depending on the pay types the company has, for, for instance, commissions, piecework, different types of overtime pay, shift differentials, the earnings record might look differently. Ideally, this would be an electronic record rather than a paper form, given that paper records could easily be, de be destroyed during a fire or, or flood. Even electronic records could be destroyed without a regular backup copy. So let's take a closer look at this form. At the top, we have the employee's name and address, social security number, hire date, date of birth, position, filing status, pay rate, dependent information, and W-4 information. If you think about this information, you can probably imagine that it could change during a year, especially position pay rate and potentially withholding information you would probably want to keep track of when it changed and from what information to what information. That's more difficult, or difficult to do on a paper form. Most software programs have what is called an audit trail. It keeps track of all the changes that were made to an employee's earnings records and who made the change and when. The, the next two sections show the period end date, hours worked, gross pay information, pre-tax deductions, and taxable wages, as well as withholdings and deductions, net pay, and FUTA. I would probably want to add more details around the other deductions and perhaps additional columns for pre-tax deductions. In addition, I would likely add a column for FUTA and SUTA taxable wages. For each quarter, I would likely want to um, subtotal so that I could double check it against the payroll register totals. Here's an example of a payroll register for three payroll periods, which is grouped by payroll period. The first payroll period is 113 23. The second is 127.23, and the third is 210.23. Within each payroll period, we can see the employees and their payroll. The employee earnings record, on the other hand, is grouped by employee. For instance, for employee B. Smith, we can see the payroll for the week ending 113, 127, and 210.23. The totals, though, between both the payroll register and the employee earnings record should match. You can see that both the payroll register as well as the, the total of the employee earnings records show 1,200 regular hours and 50 overtime hours. The total wages are 27480 and the net pay is 22422.17 on both the payroll register and the employee earnings records. In addition, both registers should match to the Form 941 and the state quarterly filings, as well as the Form W-2 
and W3.